And now, Perfect Pairings, brought to you by Total Wine and More. Bring out the booze. All right, my friend. So we've got uh, Tequila Nation over here. We do. We have a little lineup. And, and truth be told, tequila is not my bag. That's mm. why Jasper's just sitting there, just nodding his head going, uh-huh. I didn't know there was one of those. What, Tequila he, Nation? No. He has a problem with That he doesn't tequila. have, yeah. He has a problem with tequila. Uh, I'll right. be honest. He has the last I've, time I've had, it. I've had college tequilas. That's what it was. Mm. Yeah. And it's, I'm not going to name any brands, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. yeah. You know, Quarter, John, John Curve. <laughs> John Curve. Jack Curve. <laughs> and uh, But the, this is not any John Curves. So let's start with A, which is like, almost looks like water. Yeah. It, very clear. Are these... So, no, the, this. So by the color of this, this looks like a reposado. It looks like a blanco. No, no, it's blanco. So blanco would be crystal clear. Crystal clear. Okay. Yeah. There would be no wood particles in it, right? And that little straw color that you see in it—that's like a, that's a dead giveaway mm. that there's some there's some wood. It in smells there. Smells kind of. That means it's been probably reposado. Smells kind of, uh, you know, not intimidating. No, no, it's sweet. I don't get a lot of sweetness. Yeah. It's almost like mm. medicinal, a little bit. I wouldn't go that far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> girls, girls, you're both pretty. I wouldn't go as far as to call it medicinal. Jeez. <laughs> All right. So but the, no, there's the, there's some sweetness. The but... first thing that jumps out to me is that it doesn't have that that nasty tequila aftertaste that always makes me want to go. Woo, woo. This was it's it very, reminds you of college, yeah. Yeah, this is very nice, very smooth. You, um you went to college in the Midwest though, I thought. I went uh, to the Harvard. Whoa. Of the Midwest. Creighton University. Creighton Baseball School. Omaha, Big Nebraska. baseball school. It's actually now a big basketball school. That's true. Oh, look wow. at big brains on him. <laughs> we, we, were, we, were we were a bad call from going to the Final Four. What year was this? This year. Oh. When, when F <laughs> F a FAU, FAU beat Creighton. That was F Holy FAU. Wow. In baseball? A, in basketball. Oh. We're still lost. <laughs> Oye, ¿qué pasa aquí? <laughs> I'm kidding. And in this moment, <laughs> um, so by the way, so All right, let, let, let's ve very, very, you know, I haven't even taken a sip yet. Totally, v not not at all tequila tasting at all. So, okay. so I've learned the new trick. A ver, mm. that was taught to me by okay. So hit Manolo, record is by, that the new trick <laughs> by Manolo Santiago, which we'll be talking to. So in yeah, our sure, Manolo, segment. Manolo's. You'll see him shortly uh, after this perfect pairing segment. Correct, and he came in with. So he corrected your right, right, uh, your initial Manolo pairing method, which correct. you butchered, butchered the for, Jesus for, for a bunch of episodes. So if you have tried been, to imitate uh, this, uh, don't that was pay, a disaster. Wait ignore you, all of that. Wait, wait till you see the episode the and butcher. then you do it correctly. However, he did teach us how to Excellent. spot uh, tequila with artificial with artificial additives. Yeah. additives. Correct. What? So so this is all right. So if you're watching on YouTube, if you're not, if you're listening to this in your car. We'll I will. I will give him the play. By I will play. give you play by play. All play right. by play. All right, All right. you do it. Okay. So, so, but, but, uh, but on on YouTube, you can watch, watch. Ivan doing it. Okay, so, so, yeah. So you're 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 putting your hand over the glass. And whoa, whoa! What are you doing? Watch this. Just getting watch some this, getting some tequila on the palm. Getting some tequila on the palm. Right. And then and rub vigorously. And then you rub. And, and then you rub. And then the consistency of the tequila on your hands should remain oily if it's an all natural product. If it has additives, it should get sticky. So what? this one in particular is actually getting sticky on me. So, so that yeah. means that there's so it might additives. have some additives, correct? So yeah. that speaks to the sweetness that I smelled right out of the gate. Yeah, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, clearly yeah. some. If if it has that stickiness, I, I didn't try it, but let me let me do it. That would have been great if I would have spilled it on my <laughs> on the computer. That'd be perfect. So yeah, and and the heat, right? It's the the heat is what activates it, and it it does. It gets kind of tacky. Yeah. So right. forget hand sanitizers. That's what you need. You need some tequila in the That's car it. when you tequila. get pulled over. No, I was just sanitizing my hands. Would you like some, officer? <laughs> By the way, it, 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 it works on it works on anything, uh, and on any spirit, right? So if a spirit okay. has that, it's bourbon, like, whiskey doesn't matter. It looks cooler with tequila, though. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I mean, so, it was given to a, the the tip was was brought by Manolo, Manolo! who is a heavy duty tequila guy. So when I said medicinal, now when I t I took a taste of it, it's almost like a. A, a slight peatiness to it. It's almost like like what you get well, when you drink one of those like yeah. Ile. So uh, agave has that like grassiness to it. No, but know? I mean almost like that like band aid. Oh, like a like a like real peat, like yeah. in a whiskey. Yeah. And how how is I, it? I can I can I can get that I can slightly. Get that. Yeah. How is it dealing with the cigar? That's that's the next question. That's I, the next I, order of business. I, I found that 
on the on the puff I took immediately after the sip, it was the cigar was not there. It was as if I was just mm. uh, flavorless smoke. You know, <laughs> it completely wiped it out. Mm. So I didn't I didn't like that from a pairing standpoint. Jim, but however, on, does this remind you of college? Mm-mm. No. Okay. Good. No, because it, not it, at all. Not honestly, at all. look, this is this is a. Uh, I don't have a huge problem with this tequila, I, although I don't like additives in my spirits. Right. Uh, I can see my wife totally digging that, right? And and when I buy tequilas nowadays, she likes to drink tequila. So so I try to buy something that she'll like and that I'll appreciate and we can drink it by the pool or whatever and just hang out. Are you a chilled tequila person she, or, she does or like do it you chilled. like it room temp? She loves it chilled. Okay. So, you know, you got to listen. It's a, it's a marriage, right? You claro. Gotta... Claro. Mm. Sounds... Huh? Not good? <laughs> He's like, what? English, what? No, no, no entiendo. I do not know what you are speaking so, of. So as far as the pairing, not so no, much. I'm not loving that. Two, this either. is Lucy and Ricky, two separate beds right now. Yeah, totally. Uh, again, just nullifies it. And then... It's not bad. It's just, I, I feel like... You... This is just something I shoot, you know? I, it's well, not so, something I'm going to like... But in terms of the stuff. pairing, what I noticed is that... The tequila wipes out the cigar on the first puff. Second puff, still can't taste the cigar. Third puff, can't taste tequila at all. And mm. now I just get the cigar back to what it was originally. To me, that is a the definition of a non-pairing. Right. Right? Like, that did not, they did not interact with each other. They just, as Jimmy says, they sleep in separate beds. And once one's out of the picture, the other one's in, and that's it, right? That's not a pairing to me. No, no. You can you can do it, of course, if you like this tequila and you like that cigar. Yeah, sure, you can do it. It's not exactly to but me. But you're not you're not going to get the, the experience of the pairing. All right, so let's move on to B. Now B is a little little darker, tiny tiny bit darker, more of a golden hue, different on the nose too. Definitely more. It smells more like alcohol. Yeah. But I, I, by the way, I think that these are these are all low alcohol. Most tequilas, I'm not going out on a limb here. Most tequilas are forty well, percent alcohol. Now you got me thinking. I'm gonna see if there's any additives in this thing. Let's see what I Give it a shot, shot. Jim. He's gonna rub his hands. What's the Karate Kid line? We wax on, wax, wax off. on, wax off. Paint defense. Hey, no, no sticky. Hey, Mister Sticky Hands, this wait, is wait. good. Did you did you give it a good? I gave it a good one two here. No, this is no. And look, all my calluses are gone. This is oh, like, it's <laughs> wonderful. I may, I may wash my hair with this. I'm going to rub it on my feet. <laughs> I'm glad you said feet. I didn't know you were going there. Yeah. All right. So. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> it's a family show. So. Uh, <laughs> family cigar and booze show. <laughs> so let's allow. So we put it. We Ouch. put it anywhere. We put this everywhere but in our mouths. So, so let's, let's see what this drinks here. How does this drink, boys? I enjoy this better. This has a little bit more complexity to it. Um, it has mm. a little bit more like vanilla, which I wasn't getting yeah. at the beginning. Um, oak, a little oak definitely, to it. Definitely more oak, for sure. There's like a oaky tannin to it. Yeah, I don't know if I, I did the drink and then puff. Didn't get much out of it. Let's see. Let's, let me go the other way here. I think, I think you I just might drank taste more agave too. here. As opposed to the first one, this feels more like a like a tequila drinker's tequila more than more than a. I think a was more ideal for like for like my wife, who mm-hmm. like who, you know who likes she likes reposado tequilas, but likes them a little on the sweet side. This one is a little bit more balanced. They play well with each other, but I wouldn't say that they're made for each other either. What what I like. Is on the second puff. Mm. So the first puff still, you don't taste the cigar. But on the second puff, it sort of changes. It, it interacts with the cigar. So I, I do like that as opposed to A, which was there and then disappeared. And then you just got the cigar. B is there. Then it, on the second puff, plays with the cigar and it changes it up a little bit. And that's that's kind of interesting. The peppers in the cigar are softened a little bit. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Is on the second puff, the peppers are kind of like knocked down, but you still get the cedar and you still get some of the nuttiness. You still get some of the creaminess of like, the cigar. I like this. So so I think B is a better pairing so far. Yeah. Okay. These two will at least, uh, you know, 
on a once a month, you know, holidays, anniversaries, they'll they'll yeah, get together. Yeah, they get together and, and they break bread. You know, you want to move on. To Why see? does everything always have to come down to that? You know, well, Jimmy, that's your that's your that's you your know, jam, bro. That's what I'm that's what I'm here for. Right? Yep, yep, that's it. That's it. I'm the love doctor. What do you want to rub C on? Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello, yes? Yes, Ivan Ocampo. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You'll be getting a phone call shortly. <laughs> All right, so this one is Darker. is very dark. Yeah. yeah. You're not getting the job with this I, w- I would say you've crossed over into Añejo territory here. Okay. Right, because it's it's clearly darker. It smells great. So Añejos always have that, right? Because they have- Añejos the- are usually sweeter? Well- Okay, not by nature, right? Because mm, crisp. They too. they what they what it is, it's aged in a barrel more time mm. than a reposado. So uh silver has zero time in a barrel. Then a reposado has some I've amount been, of time. I've been in a barrel. Once I've been twice. in a barrel. <laughs> and then uh, an añejo has spent more time. And so Oh, this is good. If tequila. the barrel has been charred, you will get some vanillas and, and mm-hmm. some caramels, kind of like a bourbon, right? Mm-hmm. In terms of, of the the barrel effect on the spirit. However, right, you a lot of a lot of tequila companies will add, you know, sugars to it to make it a little sweeter because the barrel didn't give it enough or whatever. So I don't know. I don't know what we're dealing with here, but on it's the much, on, on the for nose, me it's, it's much nice. sweeter. On the nose, it's it's kind of nice on the nose. I, I'll be honest with you, for a person that's not a tequila fan, these have been three wonderful tequilas. Wonderful. It 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 for my palate not offensive at all. I mean, well, I could see myself just sitting in the backyard, just sipping on these guys. C just what my 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 complaint about C is that I, I can't taste agave almost at all. Mm. And I I do want, when if if I'm drinking tequila, whether they be silver, reposado, or añejo, I, and I think we've said this in the show before. Like I want to taste the agave. I want to taste that I'm tasting tequila. Right. Right, like when we did that Cincoro back then, you mm. couldn't taste the, te- the tequila it's too at all. Sweet. It right. was wait, not this isn't that. It's sweet. This is though. not that. But C it is, is closer to the to the Cincoro sure. than the other two that we. For sure, for sure. Yeah, and, but so yeah, I, I can't taste enough agave. I would want more agave, uh, but it is nice. Yeah. I, you know like what? Is, what does the agave do? Oh, the agave has that tequila flavor that you yeah. hate. Ah, okay. Right, but if you're drinking tequila. You want to taste agave, sure, right, right, because other for that, then then whatever. Let's drink a Irish whiskey, right, right, <laughs> or a mezcal. You well, guys no, got, there, you're tasting you, mezcal big. Uh, you're tasting agave big time in mezcal. Yeah. If it's an artisanal mezcal, that's what I. But love why do about I like? It. Why do I like mezcal more than I like tequila? I don't maybe know. Maybe the smokiness. Maybe this. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that that smoky component, especially what you tasted with us, were artisanal tequilas. Uh, sorry, mezcals. And by the way, uh, tequila is a mezcal, right? Okay, so. Uh, it, it is made of the same. So it's just that tequila is only Blue Weber agave, whereas mezcals can open up to any kind of agave. But uh, but I, I want to taste the agave in it. Like I, Again, otherwise, I may as well just drink Red Breast 12 Irish whiskey or something, right? If I don't want to taste agave, I'll drink something else. So, And how does it, uh, Ivan, how's it doing with the smoke? I think C pairs very well. I find C to be I, Eric kept mentioning his wife, but I I feel like this is more of a hey you keep your wife that you woman, keep my that, wife out that, of your that mouth woman, that woman is a saint. <laughs> I f- I feel like this is approachable to all sexes. Oh, <laughs> so it's sweeter. It's it's more like I can see you biting a bottle of this at a at a club or whatever, and then everybody can drink from it and and everybody will enjoy it. But it's not something. It's like, all right, it's a special occasion. All right, let's let's all drink this. To be fair, I don't think any of these are that. I could B is the closest. For the, me. Are, are these mixing no, spe- tequilas? Special? I, I don't. I doubt it. Yeah. I have no idea, but I doubt it because eh. typically uh, it'd be a good margarita, whichever one you use here. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think that that's the idea of these. I think these are meant to be sipping. Okay, mm-hmm. right? I think. All right. So when you when you have añejos and reposados. You're typically having them neat or or chilled, right? All right, so let's. You're not really mixing them too much. In summation, A, B, or C, which one is the perfect pair? Eric Calvino. Uh, of these three, so C, the little sweetness, the the added sweetness that it has, 
does pair better with the cigar right out of the gate, mm -hmm. whereas A and B wipe out the cigar out of the gate. Although I do like how C behaves with the cigar on the second and third puff. Uh, C lets you drink and smoke and have a an interesting pairing immediately from first sip and first puff. So although none of these are perfect, I would say that C is is closer for me. Ivan? If we were hanging out, Jim. That would be we, something. We, we, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be something. And because this guy never calls me. He you never were, calls me. And you were buying the bottle, I would say oh, pick, pick between B and C, and then that's the one I'd go with. And then give me the bottle and then get lost. Yeah. <laughs> that's how he that's how he hangs out with people. You know, I partied with Ivan once. Once. We, huh? we were at a All club. All these years. Yeah. We were we were at a club uh -oh. and, and we uh, ran into uh, each other and he came and he sat at my table. You know, he drank your booze. I didn't have a my, table. Drank my booze <laughs> and then said, Hang on, I'll be back. I'm still waiting for him to come back. That's Ivan, man. Oh, sorry. Tremendo. Got, got lost. Tremendo. He does that, though. But that's he okay. That. I do remember. I've known him I, since, I, since middle school. I do part, part remember that day. I do remember that day. And it was one of the what first times. This? It was one of the first times my wife let me go out by myself. <laughs> you did mention that. I, I did the mention that. The wife let me out. I got to go. And I didn't take my reading glasses. And it was a dark place. And the, the menus for the cocktails, I was reading. And I could not read a fucking thing. On, on <laughs> and I'll tell you what. And I'm like, oh, my God. My I wife, need somebody to read you these are for a me. charmer because my wife was like. She's awesome. I Ivan, her. where's Ivan? You know, we, we need to hang out with Ivan more often. I was like, Why don't you just hang out with Ivan more yeah. often? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love her. She's great. She's, she's, we got to do it more often. Yeah. Anyways, we got to do it more often once yeah. in buy, the last Buy two bottle years. B and we'll do it. All right, that's it. All right, for, for me, I, yeah. I like I like B because I almost, for C, and, you know, I, you hate to leave A out, but, you know, somebody has to It is like what that. it is, yeah. C, I would almost want to drink it just alone. Nothing, no cigar, nothing to get in the way with it, you know? And I, B, I think you're, I, for me, B, I think, while it has its problems, like any great marriage does, you know, they're, you know, this is what we're here for. This has the, been the, a very wife uh, this yeah. is, this has heavy been, episode. This has been more. I love you, hon. This has been more. <laughs> I love you, white woman. That's what, you know, <laughs> that's why I married a white woman. My credit score went up. Um, but that's, you know, that, that's why, you know, you, you work through these things. You work through these things. So. This segment brought to you by the Ad Council. <laughs> credit and, karma. And, and by TransUnion. <laughs> and by TransUnion. <laughs> I've got the ultimate credit cleaning system. Marry a white woman. Yep. And, and you're good there. So. That'll do it. <laughs> Here, piece of work, Jimmy. <laughs> As always, my friends, uh, the perfect pairing is brought to you by Total Wine and More. That's where you'll always find the right bottle at the right price with their lowest price guarantee. Visit Total Wine and More at TotalWine.com. That's TotalWine.com. Uh, Manolo Santiago, mustache and all, going to be teaching us the proper way to uh what, what's he gonna teach us to drink not to drink but to <laughs> no it's just how it's a, he has a method of pairing yeah of of pairing or tasting a spirit with a cigar and he, and and ivan has been butchering that ever since he came back from mexico and so manolo kind of lays down the law and explains how it, how it's really done all right and i need to talk to manolo because i need my i need to get a mustache like that no 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 tipo the guy's handlebar is raleigh fingers-esque Let's take a look at Manolo. Oh, hold on, no, hold on, Manolo. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, oh, slow bring, down. Yami, come over here. Tell me what I was oh drinking. Oh, my God, we, the we big forgot, reveal. We forgot the big reveal. I was going to talk to Manolo. My, go, wait, I, I, listen, hold on, Manolo. Thank you, I, 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 saw, I, I saw Manolo's mustache. <laughs> you showed me a picture of the guy, and I was like, wait, but oh, didn't he get 37 saves for the Brewers back in 1981? <laughs> you know, isn't he in the Hall of Fame? You know, you know, Raleigh Fingers uh, passed up an opportunity to play, to pitch for the Cincinnati Reds and extend his career. You don't say. The Reds had a no facial hair policy. So and he said, screw him, that. And he's like, brother, I'm going to the this Hall is, of Fame with this mustache. This is me. So same thing with Manolo. Manolo could have pitched another year too. Yep, for sure. And he said no. So Yami is here. All right. Uh, what do we got? With what A, B, and C. Here? Hit it, girl. A, B, C. Let's see. So A, you got Insolito. 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 Sorry. Insolito. It was... I, <laughs> Insolito in is, is how Ivan went to the club that night. Insolito. I, I, I was at the prom. Insolito. Ilusionó de Insolito. Cantalope. Is it Dion? Insolito. Dion. Insolito. And that's 40% alcohol. Oh, uh, I knew it. You knew that wasn't? 
Yeah. No, I didn't know. Shit. No, I didn't. Know <laughs> All right, the second one, B. Is oh, Señor Rio. Tequila. Señor Rio, yes. Añejo. Very nice. And that's oh, so wait, that is an añejo. It I, is an añejo. It was slightly darker, but I didn't think it was añejo. Okay, it is añejo. And that's forty uh, percent alcohol. And C. Cenote. Cenote tequila oh, yeah, añejo as well. Cenote that we don't talk a lot of tequila in this show. Yeah, oh, cenote. <laughs> cenote. <laughs> Ah, Sorry, that's only boom, for the boom, boom. Spanish speakers oh. in, the, in the crowd. And that's 40% alcohol. I'll be here all week. Yeah. Tip your waitresses. Already. And please try the liver. Thank you, Yami. <laughs> Cenote añejo. Interesting. You know what? You, 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 put, you, put, you put the wrong letter in there and it's a bad word. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. but uh, you know, I'll, I'll let you guys Google that point on yep. your own there. But So, all right. So C was the one that I, the cenote, that's a lot. I just like to drink this by the pool. That was nice. Right? That was that, but but uh, Senor Rio... Very good. That worked well. I did not realize. I mean, by the color, I thought that it was uh, Reposado. It's an Añejo. You know me. I'm easily amused and I'm easily impressed. The bottle's but, interesting. But the bottle's awesome. The yeah. bottle's interesting, yeah. Oh, boy. Here oh he goes. Oh, boy. No. Those rubber corks don't do that there as much. Kind of. Thanks, Total Wine. You guys awesome. did amazing. Yeah, man. That was awesome. It. Yeah. And, oh, by the way. Perfect pairing is brought to you by Total Wine. <laughs> no, you did that earlier. Totalwine.com. The mustache is here. Thanks for watching Cigar Snob on YouTube. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. There's a lot of content on our channel. And we also print a magazine. So subscribe to that at CigarSnob.com. But in the meantime, catch you on the next one.